So, hello there. My name is Emma and today I will be doing day 22 of this yoga journey. And I'm following on YouTube. I recommend you not to follow me because I ain't no professional. Check the link in my description and watch the video I'm following instead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today I am a uh, prisoner, prisoner, love, love, can't get you off my mind, off my mind, Lord knows I've tried a million times, million times, oh, why can't you, why can't you just let me off, prisoner, yeah, yeah, I listen to that song. Now and then, I have it on my playlist, actually. Yeah, my Cyrus is a really good singer. Oh, she has made some great songs, I think. My shoulder that I talked about that was hurting has not started like it wasn't hurting in the video but it had been hurting uh, the pain hasn't come back from doing the yoga or getting back to the yoga so that's good okay It's time to go to bed soon. I don't remember if I woke up at like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. today. But yeah. I slept through the night at least. So yeah, that's good. I probably got... Yeah, I probably got like 8 hours of sleep today. So that's great, okay. Yeah, so right now I feel a little bit tired, my mood feels a little bit low. I've been crying a little bit today, which I was not expecting because, like, uh, throughout most of this day I've been feeling somewhat positive, motivated to get through the day, you feel me? But then in the evening, Before I was gonna eat dinner, I started feeling <laughs> sad. Okay, something came up and I started feeling low about my life. Um, and yeah, and then I also watched them. Um, 
an episode of Normal People. I watched episode 4 of Normal People. And yeah, I cried a bunch afterwards. Like, I don't know. Watching that show, it makes me feel a bunch of emotions. Okay. And this episode made me feel both happy be and sad for the characters. I don't know. And then I started seeing myself in that position. Or I don't know. Made me cry afterwards. After the show. I don't know. I guess it's just one of those evenings. Like what the thing that came up today just triggered. I guess some sadness in me like I was having a pretty good day before that okay and yeah it's getting pretty late I should be going to sleep soon but I think after this I am gonna work on my computer for a bit and then I think my stomach is actually hurting man I'm okay. I think I have been eating too much bread today. But uh round up. No but then I think I'm gonna watch another episode of uh, normal people. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go to bed, get ready for bed and just fall asleep hopefully quickly and then sleep through the whole, whole night that would be lovely um, no but one person that I was talking to on the dating app that I had that I now have deleted because now I'm gonna take a break until March and in March I'm gonna get a dating app again, if I feel ready for it, okay? I'm not gonna force myself, okay? Uh, but uh, now I was talking to a person and I told him that I was watching normal people and he told me that he was gonna uh, look at an episode also, okay? Um, of that show. And I guess... Uh, from him telling me what kind of shows he usually likes, I wasn't expecting him to be interested in that show, but I think he gave it a chance because I guess he maybe felt some kind of connection between us or like that we were having a good conversation. But also, like, uh, it's only one season. Normal people, it's only one season and the episodes are pretty short. Like, every episode is like um, 30 minutes long. So I mean, it doesn't hurt to like just watch an episode. But he told me that he actually ended up watching several episodes. He told me, last time I talked to him, obviously I don't talk to him anymore, but he told me he was on episode 4. And he st told me that it was the best episode yet out of all of them. Um, um, so yeah. That made me excited, like, yay, okay. But, uh, yeah, episode, and yeah, today I watched episode four. And uh, I thought that it was good, it was really good. It just made me feel kind of sad at the same time. But in a way that is good also, like if a show gives you emotions. But I guess my lovey-dovey mind who... <laughs> I don't know, wants everything to go perfectly, like, I don't know, <laughs> no, the episode made me feel kind of sad, like, I don't know, but it, I think it was well done, okay, you got to see the perspective, like, kind of the lives of the two main characters, like, the first half of the episode, it was about the guy, the second part of the episode was about the girl. Like, I love how they have, um, how they have made that show, okay? 
But I don't think it was my favorite episode of them all, okay? It was definitely good. But uh, it was kind of a transition in this episode. They started college, so we got another type of scenery. And some time had went since like we last saw them, you feel me? And we got to see them at school, like being at some like kind of schoolhouse party or whatever you say. I don't know. I never went to anything of those when I went to school, okay? I think I got invited to one. Like in high school, like right when we uh, like had started high school and the classmates were positive and wanted to get to know each other. So someone I think threw a party. But I didn't go to that, okay. Maybe I should have. <laughs> I think, okay, I might be wrong, okay? But I think I heard someone in my class losing their virginity at that party. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but no, actually, no, yeah, I think that was a big thing, okay? Um, I think, like, was it the beginning of high school or whatever you translate that to English, like which class I was in? But we were 15 and 16 years old, and there was gonna be alcohol at that party, definitely. No, we're not allowed to drink alcohol at that age. I think I thought a lot about that, okay? But alcohol is not my thing, okay? And still today it's not, okay? Yeah, I've been drinking alcohol a few times. And it has been fun sometimes, but like overall, like, I wouldn't mind if alcohol was forbidden one day, okay? It's never gonna be, unfortunately. But I wouldn't mind it, okay? And I felt that back when I was younger also. I was never interested in trying alcohol, really, okay? But eventually I did try it anyways, okay? No, but I should be going to bed right now, or around this time. Uh, but I'm gonna stay up a little bit longer. 
just because like I have been sad the last couple of hours and that has made me delayed or like delayed my plans for the day so really like I could just accept that hey Emma you had you were sad for a bit it's okay that you did not finish all the things that you wanted to just go to bed instead rather than to stay up an extra hour um, but then I also felt like when I before I recorded this video I felt pretty down and depressed and I have been crying and I just felt like maybe it would be a good idea if I just did one last yoga session for today maybe that is gonna help me get in a better mood because I mean working out is oh the camera is not focusing lovely no, but working out is supposed to help with like depression and stuff like that, okay? So, yeah. Instead of going to bed sad or whatever, I thought that I should squeeze in this yoga session and maybe that is gonna help me feel a little bit better. Uh, now towards the end of the day. I don't have a sad ending, okay. But I doubt that, like I feel a little bit better now, focusing on this. Uh, but then I really wanna see another episode of uh, Normal People and I'm afraid that I'm gonna start getting sad after that again. <laughs> Maybe that is not a good show for me to watch because I get so sad with emotions and I sort of, I don't know going through shit in my head when I watched that show. Damn it, that show is addicting, I'm telling you. I think I'm having a hate-love relationship to that show. Uh. Yeah, I have a few movies like that that I love, but at the same time I hate them because they make me feel so down and sad, okay? No, I, I cannot like being sad though. But I, at the same time, I kind of avoid watching them because I get so depressed watching them. <laughs> like right now, I can think of two movies like that, which I really recommend. The first one is The Reader. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like explaining the movies. <laughs> Uh, I don't think, okay, but the reader, look that movie up, okay, it's really good, and I cry every single time watching that movie, uh, yeah, uh, and I kind of struggle watching it, like, because I get so freaking sad, okay, and then the second movie is, Atonement. Uh, yeah, Atonement is a really good movie also. Uh, I, th I saw both of these movies as a like late teenager. Uh, and I got stuck to them then. Yeah, Atonement makes me also really, really sad. Both of those movies have kind of a sad ending. Um, so yeah. No, I cry a lot to Atonement also. And I cry so much that it ruins like the day. <laughs> so therefore I kind of avoid watching that movie also. But again, I recommend it, okay? But yeah, another movie that makes me sad is Manchester at Sea or something. I have only watched the movie once. I definitely need to see it again because I bet that there's stuff that I don't remember. I feel like you need to see. And yeah, sometimes even when I have seen a movie a few times and then I watch it again, I notice stuff that I didn't watch, notice the other times. 
so that's fun with watching a movie more than once. But yeah, Manchester at Sea, I've only, only seen it once, uh, but I have not dared to see it again actually after the first time because I cried almost <laughs> during the whole movie. It's so, it's so sad, but I think I should give it a chance again because uh, I have only seen it once, okay? But yeah, I guess I recommend that movie also. But then again, it was a few years ago since I saw it. I think it was like five years ago since I saw it and I only saw it once. Who knows how my feelings were that day. I don't know if I uh, would react the same if I saw the movie today. But I do think I would, okay? <laughs> because it's very sad from what I can remember, okay? Well, now I have been <laughs> showing my back for too long. I'm gonna turn the way she's.
Well, that was the yoga I was uh, It was nice, but I feel like crying again. But it was nice, okay? I think I needed that, okay? That was day 22. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I enjoyed this yoga session, okay? And I hope you who watched this video did that too. In that case, leave a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My name is the same there, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on uploading new videos. I hope you all are having a great day. See you next time. Bye bye.